So I'm just putting this one out here because I wonder, is this a widespread mentality with Reform UK candidates? I'm just going to read the report out. It's from the 26th of June. The report's by Tom Witherell. Putin seems very good candidate tells Salisbury. Salisbury, of all places, Salisbury. A Reform UK candidate was booed by voters in Salisbury. Good. After he said that President Putin seemed very good. Um, Julian Mallon's KC, KC um, defended the Russian president in the city with a former double agent, Sergei Skripal, and a star Yulia were poisoned with Novichok, a nerve agent in 2018. I have actually met Putin and had a 10 minute chat with him, and he seemed very good, the barrister said at Hustings at St Thomas's Church on Sunday, according to the Salisbury Journal. Um, no details on what the conversation was about. He added, he is not the Austrian gentleman with a moustache come alive again. A woman who has housed two Ukrainian refugees for two years said, I can't believe what I've just heard. How can you in Salisbury, well, we had Novichok on our streets say that. Malin said yesterday what actually happened in the Hussings was that I said hundreds of Ukrainians and young Russian men were dying every day and we should negotiate with President Putin. I said he is a good Russian president, a good president of Russia or for Russia, which he is. And I did say I'd meet him. This is not Munich 1938. Now, this guy deserves to f absolutely be destroyed at the ballot box. Unfortunately, I don't think it will happen because there's a lot of people who are dewy eyed about reform and they're just turning a blind eye to this Russia thing. But this guy has went even further than Farage, at least Farage. And I stand by everything I said about him. At least he condemned the invasion of Ukraine. This disgraceful character, Mullins, um, has actually said Putin's a good president, Farage, Martin, but this guy has actually said he's good for Russia. A dictator who crushes dissent, a dictator who um, poisons his opponents, I mean, good for Russia. Is, is he a good leader when he sent tens of thousands of young Russian men to the deaths? Another thing I have with reform, and you know, Farage has doubled down on his position, He's put the onus on Zelensky and said, stop young Ukrainian men dying. What about telling Putin to stop young Russian men dying in the tens of thousands? I'm wounded. Um, I think this is just the steaming pile of brown stuff that is coming from reform because it's absolutely um, disgusting. You know, I mean, this is a city, I'm talking about Salisbury, where a British citizen died where two people were seriously hospitalised. Uh, in fact, a police officer was also, I understand, hospitalised. On British soil, I would argue it was an act of Russian state terrorism. Um, and this guy wants to represent Salisbury. I hope he is destroyed at the polls. Um, what a disgrace. And for him, the funny thing is, when he's claiming it was taken out of context, it's, all, it's almost making it worse, because he shows what a Putin cheerleader he is. And he's a KC. That's even more troubling, the fact this guy is a KC, a lawyer. Um, Putin's poodle, Putin's useful cheerleader, Putin's apologist, Putin's um, appeaser. Shame on you, Gillian Mallon's KC, you card. Shame on you, you disgraceful stooge for a brutal dictator. I hope you're destroyed at the ballot box. Salisbury of all places, I'm disgusted by that. But I wonder how many... Reform UK candidates have this mindset. I mean, they seem to admire dictators. You know, he's good for Russia. In what way exactly? The Russian economy, all this narrative of he's good for Russia, well, the Russian economy is lax at best. You know, it ranks somewhere like 11th or 12th in the world. Um, tens of thousands of young Russian men have died. The Senate has been brutally crushed. It's a mafia state. Under what deranged logic has Putin been good for Russia? but was some sort of sense of lost glory. Well, of course, that was the real reason the Ukraine war started, not, as Farage claims, because the West provoked him. I'm disgusted by reform at the moment, and um, it's good that they're being exposed. Apparently, uh, one poll had 63% of, of reform voters disagree with Farage that the West provoked Putin. Um, but unfortunately, I, I'm not... I'm not sure about that because I've been looking at reform pages and there is a kind of, very few of them have been saying, oh, I support this party, but I disagree with Farage. So unfortunately, I think there are a lot of 
reformed voters who have questionable views on this, which is strange given that they make such a big thing of patriotism. Well, how is it being patriotic to parrot the Russian dictator? Make no mistake, Putin is an enemy of this country. Um, I'll be looking at Salisbury. I hope Malins is crushed. I mean, he's not going to win that seat, but th that's just so insulting. The very city that was targeted by Russian state terrorism in 2018, and he wants to represent it. Maybe he should, you know, F off and represent Moscow North. Disgraceful. If I was living in Salisbury, it's not for me to tell people who live there how to vote. But if I was living there, I would just be so disgusted by that. I mean, he's went further than Farage, actually. Incidentally, um, one other thing, you said he met Putin for 10 minutes. I don't know what they discussed. But is 10 minutes enough to form an opinion of someone? I mean, anyone? It's just And to think this guy is a KC, surprised idiot is what he is.